Okay, so we're going to learn about protonoid microspheres. The world's first cell? I think so. So general definition and explanation. Protonoid microspheres are spherical structures that are pretty much just like bubbles, and they are made by large organic molecules. And they're very similar to modern day cells, or what we consider mod modern day cells. And so right now scientists are, well not right now, for a while, scientists have believed that they are the origin of cells, and that is where cells originated from. And they're pretty important because, you know, cells are pretty important. And they are theorized to be the origin of cells. They have the ability to store and release energy and have qualities such as selectively permeable membranes, which is similar to modern day cells. And they're the most logical answer that we can find as to where life as we know it came from. They are considered to be the first version of life, not exactly what we consider them to be now. And at first they were much more of a chain of molecules surrounded by a bunch of free-floating molecules. <clears throat> so they didn't exactly fit the definition of what we consider life to be now, but they were still life. Yeah. From protonoid microspheres to evolved cells. Protonoid microspheres are form formed by the poly polymerization, polymerization of amino acids. In water, they will come together to form very small bubbles, creating protonoid microspheres. And these microspheres we're able to pro provide a suitable vessel for the first forms of life to evolve. So when we had these microspheres, then stuff like chloroplasts and things would form inside of them. And that kind of created our first idea of a cell. So a uh, sort of pr primitive metabolism evolved, leading to the emergence of the first living cells. And the definition that suits this that we found is abiogenesis, which is the natural process of life arising from the non-living from the non-living matter, such as orga organic compounds. Similarities to what we now consider cells. Microspheres are uniform in size and are held together by membranes that are very similar to the ones we have, that cells have today. They are selectively permeable, as we mentioned before, and they also have the ability to undergo fission and budding, which is a very common form of asexual reproduction that we see in many different life forms. Just in case you don't know, the definition of binary fission is a form of asexual reproduction uh, caused by cell division, uh, often found in use of prokaryotes. And budding is also a form of asexual reprodu reproduction where a daughter cell would grow off of the parent cell. So Fox did a theory, or Fox had a theory that he used to prove that protonoid, mi protonoid microspheres could have been the first cells. Uh, he used intense heat as the active force. Uh, he would uh, heat water to an excess of 175 degrees Celsius and uh, superheat pure amino acids. After six hours of the constant heating, he would add the amino acids to the water and filter out the immiscible, immiscible particles, causing the uh, microspheres to form on the solid parts. He claimed that these spheres were in fact protocells, an early version of what we consider modern cells. Uh, he observed that they also go and undergo the same process of, of mitosis in his lab. Fox believed that his theory was revolutionary in regards to how life formed. But there's been much debate about this theory. The idea of only using pure amino acids to create the reaction is improbable, as Hedain Earth would not have had giant pockets of pure amino acids <laughs> lying conveniently placed right next to a volcano, which is the only place you would have been able to find heat that would heat them to the excess that he had. They're also extremely unstable, and as things were always changing on early Earth, they would have been easily destroyed. And that right down there is his little formula for it. It's so fancy. So the composition of these protonoid microspheres, it's pretty much their chain of amino acids. And rather than being made up of hundreds of chains of amino acids, they're made up of only a few chains. 
Evolutionary relevance. Protonoid microspheres are the most logical explanation to the origin of cells, and though they were necessary for life, they were not technically alive to begin with, with like according to our modern day definition. And but they did allow cells to form and evolve, resulting in new types of life that have pretty much taken over the Earth today. All done. All done. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm.